And who else? I don't Anna know. Beth? I don't know. Don't you? A painting of where Les grew up in Ireland, as well as photos of family and mentors, are hung with care on the walls of the home of this loving couple. Who's that? That's you when you were, when you first became a grandpa. My goodness, Andy. Yeah. And even though Les can't really remember who all the people in the photos are all the time, they are part of the lifeline that keeps him connected to the man he once was. Vascular dementia has robbed him of much of his short-term memory. It hasn't, though, thankfully, stolen his wit. He thinks he's taking pictures of a teenager. <laughs> <laughs> when Les naps, Sandy leaves notes around the house, so he knows she's gone outside to nurture their garden. It's there she reflects on their 16 years of marriage and how more than nine years ago, her husband and their relationship began to change because of the disease. Gone are the days of a carefree couple. Their relationship now, she says, is more like parent and child. I sort of describe it like we were going along in our life and little windows of odd behavior appeared not very often and they got bigger and closer together. And now, I'm living in those windows of the odd behavior and the windows of who he was are getting smaller and farther apart. Campbell takes great joy in reflecting on who they were and she finds ways to really enjoy who they've become. It's been a complex journey, one not completely foreign to either of these people. Les's first wife had dementia and Sandy's mom has Alzheimer's. With the help of support groups, she reluctantly admitted she needed came some help. My caseworker knows that yes, I'm upbeat and outgoing and strong, but the, the other side to me is that I struggle. It can be lonely, lots of challenges. For now, the couple enjoy outings. That day will come though, when Les will need full-time care. And that's when Sandy says she will fall back into the role of being a wife. She says that day will be peppered with guilt, as she will have to admit his needs are more than she can handle. In acceptance lies peace and while there's an ongoing grieving, accepting frees me to live and embrace today and whatever is in it. My choice is to live every day and every moment with as much joy as I can, as much patience and love for less as I can. That's how I just live my days. From Kelowna, for Shaw, I'm Tammy Williams.